All right, let's check out our inventory. I think we need to use a draconid oil on this guy. Where are you? Did I miss it? There it is. Drop some of that in. So I've got a grape shot equipped. Which will be good for this situation. We're going to want to have... Probably be alternating between these two. Come on! Does not look like we're doing superior damage. But we are hurting him, so I guess it's not a big deal. I don't think we fought one of these before. Come here. All right, he's going to take off. Oh, jeez. That was a bad time to do that. Oh! Oh, that was good timing. This thing saves me in so many bad spots. Oh, that did it. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all these at you. Gotta piss it off. Ow. You're not getting away from me. Man, having that Quinn just makes it so much easier to initiate combat. He's gone. That thing was a pain. Some really interesting enemies in this expansion. I guess none of them were as much a pain as the insects, however. Centipedes. Yeah. GG, Geralt. GG. Now everyone can rebuild. Even though Liam's kind of a dick leaving till I loot the room. Sorry, I know you guys brought all this equipment out here to rebuild your your land, but I'm going to take it all now. Of Rithia, we are your <laughs> Somebody got screwed. Huh? I'll take all that. You will not be forgotten, sir. As I loot your body. Let's go ahead and have a little rest. Is there a fast travel point nearby, or do I need to find one? Probably going to be one here. Though there might just be a bunch of enemies there. Let's go check it out. Yep, there's a bunch of enemies. Oh god. No, I don't have time for you. You're also really high level. Much higher level than I am. And I'm advancing to some higher level quests. I don't think I've hit level 40 yet. But I am doing level 40 work. But I got time for you. Fast travel from Thmyaw? No, oh, we're really close, so it doesn't really even matter. I wish I could just pick these things as I'm sprinting by. 
It makes me have to re-sprint. Reinitiate the sprint. Please, don't bother me. Witcher, you're here. Any news? Oh, I got lots of news. Tell me about yourself Come first. from a long line of vintners, don't you? Yes. My great-grandpapa planted the first seeds at Coronata. Yet my father made the vineyard bloom. He had hoped one of my elder brothers would take up the hoe and grape knife. Alas, he proved a tyrant. All eight fled, wanting nothing to do with winemaking. I graduated Oxenford Academy and returned home to find myself up to my ears in work. I set my own plans aside, then abandoned them. But I regret nothing. I've grown to love the trade. Tended to Belgard's problems. Think you can start producing wine. Splendid! And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard vineyard, and trust that you shall prove a wise, interested, resolute steward. Oh, thank you! You've saved my derriere! Ah, fortune smiled on me since you showed up. While you were out there, I found a case with my father's notes in the cellar. He left a whole tome's worth, discussing which vines do best in this climate. Now that the vineyard can operate normally at last, for the first time in a long while, I feel everything is falling into place. This is for you. Thanks, and good luck. All right. Got a lot of crowns. Quest complete. Ooh, there's a blacksmith. As the guy we saved. Let's have a little Master chat. Richard, the debt I owe I can never hope to repay, not in all my life. First, you ripped me from the Hans's clutches. Now, now, thanks to you, the vineyard prospers like never before. You, sir, are owed a very good price on my goods. What were you doing in the Caraberta woods? And how'd you wind up a prisoner of those bandits? Ever since the Count died, I've not had the resources to buy raw materials, meaning no new barrel hoops and tools. So I mustered a few lads and went into the woods to scavenge. Great deal of scrap to be had in those elfin ruins, if you don't mind digging. Folks say the place is haunted, but I've no fear of elfin ghosts. A rational man. Rational or superstitious, it matters not. The point is, I did not see a single ghost. Yet a Hansa, yes, that we ran into. Though it seems I've more luck than sense because you came along to save me. Let's check out your wares. Show me what you have. Oh man, this guy is stocked. Holy crap. All right, guys, I'm going to take a moment to do some inventory management, and I will be right back with you. All right, guys, another oh, brief update here. I was going to go up here to the Grandmaster Armor. I'll show you guys exactly where he is. Over here in the main, the main town. Not actually going to do a whole lot here. Um, I'm going to start a quest that he has, but I wanted to make sure that you guys saw all the dialogue before I did some more inventory sorting. Because he's got some stuff to say, and he doesn't say it more than once. So here we go. Greetings. A witcher from the School of the Wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarque. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Sounds like a plan. 
One thing I'm noticing as I'm going through my inventory is that I have so many things that I can make that it's starting to get a little overwhelming. So I think we should just aim for the stars and try to get some of the best armor that we can from our quests and use that instead. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Toussaint? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tiensai, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witch's first act. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you've found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school, of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Hmm... I don't remember which one I liked the most before. Manticore sounds cool. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sail slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. Conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, 
the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the Ducal Armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time, he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. The Witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. This is gonna be a long quest. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He warned them of the danger there, and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Wow, we just spent the better part of ten minutes talking to this guy. Quest gonna take us all over the place. Farewell. Good luck on the path. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's hire the so we probably unlocked a bunch of different things. Yeah. I'm gonna have to decide which one of these sets I want to gather, and I will see you guys in the next episode.